you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die too. Hello everybody, I'm your Double Welcome to Age of the Ring Cast. We are on Westfold for another epic 1v1. In the right corner, we have a Mordor and it's Ulrich. Alric, Ulrich. However you say his name while well, he's playing Mordor. And very interesting, going with the Troll Cage start. We haven't seen that in a while. Uh, I think this is actually a match from the Age of the Ring 20 that's going on. Uh, so two pretty good players. And I trust he knows what he's doing. I mean, he, he must know what he's doing if he's in that tournament. And his opponent today is Seuss, and it's Smear Golem. Although there it just says Seuss Golly, but yeah, it's Smear Golem. And he is playing uh, Rohan today and going with a cable start. C cable start? Yeah, he's getting free cable. No, stable start. So is he going troll because they're actually the better option against Rohan because they can beat peasants and they're actually good at countering Cav, or is it just like the best opener for Mordor now? I don't know. But, I mean, if they can catch the cavalry, they will obviously beat them quite convincingly. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. When I play Rohan, I always go Peasant Start now. And I always back them up with some Yeoman, just in case cavalry shows up, so... Uh, I guess, I guess, uh, Spearman would deal with the troll in that case. But yeah, this is Westfold, so it used to have an inn in the middle, and it used to have Signal 5s in the corner. But because in 8.1, or 8, it's not in 8.0, Signal 5s are purely vision. The Signal 5s in the middle, and you have the inns in the corners now. Alright, intro out of the way. First units are a go. And they are both avoiding each other. In fact, he's not going for a harass, he's just going to go straight for the middle point. So we'll get some nice vision from his POV. He's seen the troll now. Barracks is hastily being assembled. This is actually going to be quite interesting because we always see peasants start now. Is he going for the barracks? I like this Ulrich guy. He thinks outside the box. I would have just gone with the farm because barracks are pretty sturdy, but he knows if he can delay getting the spearmen out, then it's going to be so much better for him. Hell yes! Go Ulrich! I mean, he didn't go with um, rebuild. Rebuild would have sort of ruined his plans, but he gets the barracks! I hope you get the- I hope if you're queuing up a unit and then the building goes down, you get refunded that, because he was queuing up some, um, some, uh, duties. Alright, these guys should have a little bit of a boost from the scout. They are in fortress range. But yeah, I like that opener from Ulrich. Well done, dude. And he's going for- he, he also got the farm over here and he's going for farm number two. He's level two now. Honestly, I thought he'd be level three from destroying two buildings like that, but... Maybe the, uh, maybe the farm just got demolished. Alright, he did get one slaughter, uh, one slave farm, sorry. But he's still down a bit. Orc spears are coming in, because he's seen he's got the stables, so obviously Spearman would counter that. And this is not looking very good for Smear Golem at all. This troll is just running riot. I'm getting PTSD flashbacks to when Kami would do this to me every time. Micro trolls like nobody's business. <laughs> I could never kill him. It was annoying. Anyway, obviously the cavalry can't intercept. There's nothing coming in. There's some spearmen, but I imagine... Oh, there's, a, there's already one chasing the troll there. And if he loses another farm, that's going to be really annoying. I think he's just going to bite the bullet and go peasant eco because... His, his entire strat has been undone by one troll. And he's going to need something to uh, uh, deal with the orcs that are coming in. I don't know if he got another slave farm. He might have done. But now he's got two trolls on the front line. A third one's coming in. He's having to continually run away from these uh, spearmen. And the problem is, is that these orc spearmen won't be able to do much against uh, the yeoman spears. The best thing, I think, for Ulrich is just to utilize the speed of the troll and just keep kiting away. Just keep frustrating him and then send your other units away. And the cavalry gets a rear trample there, so they don't take that much damage. Um, but I think he did lose a battalion earlier. And there's another farm! That's two more farms going down. And including... Oh, sorry, not including the one that was making peasants. So actually three farms. 
And I think he's run into a corner. He must have clicked away for one second. The level 4 troll does go down. And Smear Golem can count himself lucky. I think Ulrich must have clicked away. Or maybe they just didn't move the way he wanted them to. Because, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, I don't know. I think I feel like he could have uh, kept going there. Take up arms, but yeah, that, that troll had a wild ride. He was level 4. And this one's pinned against the farm. He's going to keep frustrating the enemy by... Oh, no. No. Ah, uh, he could have kept on moving him. I think he stopped again. Ah, uh, that's a shame. They had a hell of a good run, though. It's like the Rude Devil yada 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 show. We had a good run. <laughs> you know. And troll number three... Is going to try and pick up where they left off. But yeah, I mean, how many farms do you want to lose? It's amazing he's still got resources, actually. Given how many, how much money he's had to spend rebuilding his eco, it's amazing he actually has money. Anyway, Mordor. Almost at tier 2 because of all that eco harass. These orcs aren't going to get much done. I feel like he must have something good now because he wouldn't have spent that much. I mean, the trolls... Yeah, they're a little bit expensive, but like, he hasn't made that much or lost that much. I don't know, if he doesn't capitalize on this, uh, all these early victories, I feel like he might actually lose us. Like, if Black Orcs don't come out, or you just get something substantial, like a Nazgul or something, then all this harass is going to be for nothing. Anyway, farm at, farm at the top does go down. He's probably going to get the XD here. No, he doesn't. And he's a big fan of just kiting. And he's close to Slaves of Nern here. There hasn't been much counter harass, but maybe this farm will be at risk. Now he's got tier 2, and now he can get Slaves of Nern on this bad boy. And maybe he'll use that to finance... Um, I don't know, maybe not Witch King. I don't think that'll... I don't think you could pull that off. But maybe like, I don't know, Mouth of Sauron or something cool. Because this thing is now getting a 79. It went up by 50. It was getting 29 before. Yeah, I was really impressed with that early harass, but it seems to have just petered out now. And as I said, I hope he I hope he makes something of it. He's gotta have something cooking. What's what's being built here? Just another barracks? I mean it would be cool if he just made some Ologs, but Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Uh, I'm guessing he'll just go with Horn of the Westfold. Oh, wait, no. He can't get Horn of the Westfold, can he? Oh, I don't, I don't know the spellbook. I go with Giraffe all the time. Sorry if the gulping was audible there. I took a sip from my tea. It's uh, King Charles Coronation Tea. At least that's what it said on the tin. Tastes pretty good, actually. Alright, any attempts at counter harass quickly thwarted, and now the trolls are back. He's got a level 2 stable, so he can get Rohirrim Warriors and he can get Snowborn. We don't think we've seen any yet. Got level 5 Spearmen, I think they must have been the ones that killed those trolls. But yeah, I'm still waiting for that tech up. I'm still waiting for something big. Might get the XD hit. There it is. That's actually pretty big. And this slave farm's probably going to go down here. And this one too, actually. So, uh, Smeagolem getting back into the game. His only real offense are these trolls. If he if he's reckless or if he's careless for one second, he's going to lose these trolls. He didn't go with the tier 2. He went with rebuild instead. That's pretty good. And it seems that Ulrich is just going to go for the Orc Spam and hope the Troll Harass is enough so that he can just waltz into the base of his Orcs. I mean, if he gets Morgul Sorcery and then Gothmark, I think that could work, but... Yeah, it's... it's. I feel like he's, mm, he could have done that much earlier. Alright, another Troll goes down. They're not getting as much value as they used to. And watch this cavalry. Rohirrim War is in aggressive stance. Oh, the Spearman beat him to it. I thought we were going to see a cool trample there, even if they were wounded. Oh, no! Well, a different kind of trample there. <laughs> Not as effective, but a trample nonetheless. And also, so annoying having to queue up units, rebuild your eco, attack over here, and chase this fucking troll. It must be so exhausting for him. It would wind me up to no end. Come, 
The fact that he's got orcs just sort of chilling there means that he's got so many other duties to tend to, he's forgotten about a unit. And there we go, he's finally remembered. Okay, there it is. And there's so much eco-trading going on, it's actually kind of hilarious. It's like a farm has not gotten to level 2 outside of, like, this one. Nope, not even this one. <laughs> Alright, Rebuild comes in trying to stall him here. But with two trolls chucking, thro uh, chucking uh, rocks at it. Alright, he's gone with Elfhelm here. Now, why has he done that? Well, Elfhelm is a ranged hero, and he's on horseback. So, the kiting of the trolls is somewhat mitigated because he can just snipe them from far- Oh! Unless you just want to charge him in on sword, that's fine. Very lucky boy. You're lucky that they're holding rusty spears from Minas Morgul. Any decent spearman would have skewered him- No, why again? What are you doing to me, dude? <laughs> you got away with one. <laughs> oh, you did. Excuse me? Oh, muster the Rohirrim to get Rohirrim archers. He's actually making use of the new tier 2 that no one ever makes and I completely forgot about. Oh, fuck yes, dude. So he went with fire. He upgraded the... Wait. Oh, did they come out upgraded? Fully replenish and... Well, they've got fire somehow. It must be from the ability. And that's... Yeah, that will definitely be the end of the troll spam. He's gonna have to come up with something new now. That'll work! Ayo! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Man, what harassing a guy does to a motherfucker. Look at this. Straight to tier 3 just from destroying farms. He's in fort range now. Is he gonna go for the stables? Wow, that's some good damage. But I love the fact that he went mustard or hear him there. Mouth of Sauron is on the field. Okay, so I told you... I told you he should be spending all his money while he's... Well, his base is basically immune from harass. This is what he should be doing. And I thought he'd fucked it up because he seemed to just be doing nothing and making orc barracks. Um, but no, the slave of Nern, Eco, did tell him the end. He got Mouth of Sauron. And um, he's like 2k, so... He's got a real tanky here on the front line. The trolls are still not safe because... Obviously, he's got Elfhelm out. Although, I... Why is he using Elfhelm like this? I mean, he does kill one troll. That's basically what he's meant to be doing, but from a safe distance. And had the Wraith on Wings not come out? Oh, well, there they go. But had they not come out? I don't know. I think it might have been pretty good for Smeagol, but now it's looking bad again. Unless he feeds them out to Sauron here. God, I cannot make a definitive statement. Every time I do, something goes wrong. I'm like, okay, here's Elfhelm. Here's the turn of the tide. And then they just... Yeah, that! What the f- I can't do- Dude, I can't say anything definitive on here. Oh my god. Okay, right. his fortress is not going to explode in the next five seconds. Okay, if he had called GG there, I would have actually just laughed my ass off. <laughs> Could you imagine he just deletes his fort? Oh man. It's been a hilarious game. Ah, well there you go. There's the Slave of Nern Eco. I said Gothmog, and he decided to go with Moloch. Both stupid names, but... Both good heroes. And these trolls, well protected. No cavalry to disturb these archers. He's upgrading, actually. Halifurians are here. Now, they would have been good a half hour ago. And they're going to get focused, obviously, by the orc archers because they do bonus damage to trolls. There's the disdain from Mouth of Sauron. And I think these guys are going to be... Easy, easy, easy. And if any cavalry do come out, well, Moloch's going to be there to greet him. Archie range does go down. Surely that's going to be GG now. Imagine if Moloch did epic building damage. It would be awesome. But yeah, two orc archers and two trolls from Ulrich. And there it is, boys. That was a short game. That was basically all tier one units. That was troll cage start. That was uh, Master Micro on the Trolls. A little bit of hope, like a glimmer of hope for Rohan. Um, but I feel, I feel like he couldn't protect his farms, and yet he spent so much money building outer farms. He should have just kept like three or four farms that he knew he could protect, build a well for the eco buff, and then go Halifarians.
I felt like that would have been better. Because he, he spent so much money building out of farms and he couldn't protect them. It was just feeding more and more points. I think that's probably where he lost it. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. That was a rather quick game, but a high-level game nonetheless. If you should like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'll see you next episode. <gasps> Goodbye.